Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss further into the discovery project uh, on rotating on a slant. And this time, go over question three. Basically, my earlier two videos, I went over discovery project, which is just a recap is just a project at the end of each chapter in my calculus book which goes over some pretty interesting mathematics and in this case we're going to be dealing with rotating on a slant and in my earlier video I determined this this uh, area of this region in question one I show that it, it, for a general shape it equals to this and that's again um, in, all in, in these cases we're going to be dealing with rotating about this slant so uh, basically question one was this area and then question two like I sold in my last video I showed that for a specific example of this if you're given a function like this I show that this area is equal to 4 pi which I just used this formula to solve it and now yeah, again so make sure to watch my earlier videos to get uh, caught up on question one and two so now question three states find a formula similar to the one in question one but for the volume of the solid obtained by rotating r about the line y equals mx plus b. So the region r is this. So again, if we were to rotate about here, and this time solve for the volume, what we get is, let's go like this. So if you rotate this about like that, we get a shape that looks like this. Then draw in 3D, go something like that. So now this is the volume that we are going to look at which is across this whole thing. So that's for question three. So if we go ahead and just look at question three right here, what I'm gonna do is just paste that same image over here. And now what we're gonna do is basically recall the derivation I did for this area here. And in my question one video, I basically looked at this section right here. And now if we were to rotate this, I'll call this length Li, and then this is delta u. So if we were to rotate just this section across, you get something that looks, let's draw this like that, looks something like this. Draw this in 3D. And now this goes across like that. And then this across it, that's Li. And now we have a volume, which is just this thin slice. So for this thin slice, we could use basically this small section Li, which is, again, that's Li. We have delta U, and then basically the area of this circle is just pi r squared, or pi times Li squared, and then multiplied by the width, which is delta U. So this is delta U. So basically, if we recall, well, well actually, before we get to that, well, this little section here, we'll call this Vi. So, or v, in, uh, v just for any random number there, and at this very point across here, this is our xi. So at this point is xi here. So what we get is the total volume is going to be, well, just basic summing up um, infinite sections, like in my earlier videos on integrals and how we derive them, basically as n approaches infinity of the sum i equals to 1 up to n and in this case we have vi so we basically sum this whole thing up and in this case our vi is just, is just going to be equal to let's write this down here n approaches infinity and i equals 1 vi is just the uh, area times this width so area here a i is just equal to pi r squared, where r is the radius, which is li. So pi times li squared. So we'll just put that down here. And then, then, the, then you multiply by delta u. So pi times li squared, and then times it by delta u for this uh, volume of this, uh, of this slice here. But then again, we're summing it up into infinity, where this n is just infinite of these, and they're going to be infinitely small. And also basically recall from my question one video. So recall from uh, Q1 in my earlier video where I had to derive Li to find this region area, this, this whole region there. And I showed that Li is equal to, this is going to be f of xi minus mxi minus b. 
and then square root one plus m squared. And again, this m and b are part of this line right here. And f of xi is this point here, f of xi. And this is again at the point i there, xi there. So that's what li is equal to. Okay, let's write it a bit neater. And then I also showed that our delta u in terms of x is equal to delta x times it by, this is going to be 1 plus m times f prime, or the slope, or the derivative at xi. And then this is all divided by, let's write it like this, all divided by square root 1 plus m squared. So if we put this in together into, into uh, this formula for volume, we basically get v is equal to limit as n approaches to infinity of, this is n, i equals to 1, and then this is going to be pi times it by li, which is this, li squared, f of xi minus mxi, minus b, I'll just put this in bigger brackets like that, square root 1 plus m squared, and then all squared. Then times it by this part here, let's go 1 plus m f x i, 1 plus m squared, and then here's delta x. Yes, so now that we have this part here, basically we could now convert this into an integral because uh, this is pretty much the definition of an integral. This is just a Riemann sum of taking a small slice here. We get the volume of the small slice. And then when you sum up into infinity, is also written as an integral. So this equals to the integral. And again, this is a constant. We'll just take that out. So this is pi integral from p to q. And then this is going to be like this, f prime of x minus mx minus b. So this x i just becomes x in the integral. You'll learn more about this in my early videos on integration. And this intervals from p to q is basically where we are uh, looking at our shape. So from p to q, and again, neither one is over here. So from p up to this point, up to q here. So that's our interval there. And then this is going to be, I'll just write this like this squared. And then at the bottom here, the square root squared just becomes 1 plus m squared multiplied by here, 1 plus m, f prime of x. And again, this xi becomes x, because when you're dealing with infinitely small sections, the all the xi's are the same, and then this, or roughly the same. Or just, you can't tell the difference, and this delta x becomes infinitely small, we'll call that dx. So now this is a constant, this 1 plus m squared, it's a constant slope. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is, just multiply these out and remove it. And again, when you multiply it out, this is 1 plus m squared times it by, this is 1 plus m squared power of 1 half, that's the same thing as square root. When you have this, you can add the powers. This equals 2, 1 plus m squared, this is 1 plus 1 half, which is 2 over 2, plus 1 over 2 equals 2, 1 plus m squared, and then this is 3 over 2. So we can remove that out of the integral because it's a constant. So what we finally get is volume is equal to pi over 1 plus m squared, power of 3 over 2, times it by the integral from p, from p to q. Let's write this a bit neater. And then we have this f of x minus mx minus b all squared. And then this is going to be 1 plus m f prime of x dx, like that. And this is our equation for the volume of a shape, I mean, of a, a volume of a shape yeah, derived by rotating the curve about a slanted line of constant slope like that. And this is very similar to our area, vol in our area equation, which I derived in question one, my earlier video except there's a squared here, and this is 3 over 2 as opposed to um, the power of 1. So anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this video on basically finding the volume. It's very similar to question 1, 
Uh, but question one, I wanted into detail in showing how we basically derived that equation, how we got our Li and our delta u in terms of x. Basically, you're going to use trigonometry to rotate it about this line. So it's rotated, you're going to have to use some angles across and just rotate it for the regular horizontal axis. Anyways, that's all for today. Again, make sure to watch my other videos. It's a very interesting discovery project. Anyways, that's all for today. I don't know what's over here. But anyways, though, well, let's fix this. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.